back in 2015, a Reno girl was the victim of a brutal homicide. Now, her family, with the help of a local nonprofit, are keeping her legacy alive by helping others. And this was the last picture that she took on the night of her death. Tinker Davis, the mother of Markeisha Hibbler, whose life was tragically taken away in 2015, takes me on a trip down memory lane. Every morning before I left out the door, she would open her door and say, bye, turd, I love you. And that was her thing every morning. Hibbler was a first-generation college student working towards her nursing degree, something that her mother says was always in her blood. She took care of me when I went through my health issues. She helped take care of her grandmother. After Markeisha's passing, Mike Marty was the lead homicide detective assigned to her case. It was during his investigation that he became close with the family. For us at the rig, this was one of the touchstone cases that uh, made me come up with the idea of this Retired Investigators Guild. The Retired Investigators Guild, or RIG, is a nonprofit created by Marty, which consists of a team of former major case investigators who donate their time to law enforcement agencies. Uh, our mission is restoring America's faith in law enforcement and then uh, a tireless effort of going for criminals uh, in, in the pursuit of justice for victims of violent crime. Marty adds that his nonprofit offers hope, and in this case, the job wasn't done after the case was solved. We reached out to the University of Nevada, Reno, uh, to get a scholarship endowment in the name of Marquisha Antonia Hibbler. Starting in the fall of 2024, aspiring criminal justice majors have the chance to receive $25,000 to put towards getting their degree. It'll be one student a year, and then we'll follow that student throughout their career uh, at the university. But Marty didn't stop there. He hosted a ceremony in honor of Markeisha and presented her mother with a posthumous degree in Markeisha's name. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do.